Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of multiplication and division. This is standard 6.3e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 22 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a uh, trail mix bag, so let's just put our little trail mix bag right here. And they tell us that it's 22.5 ounces in the bag. If you ever look on the back of any type of item, they'll tell you how much a serving is, right? Because they have nutritional information, but you th that nutritional information is per serving. So how big is the serving? Well, the serving equals, and they give us 2.5 ounces. So the question is, how many 2.5 servings, how many 2.5 ounces can we get out of this 22.5 or 22 and 5 tenths big bag of trail mix? Well, that seems like it's going to be a division problem. Let's see if we can set this up as a strip diagram just to make sure. So I've got my hole right here. 22.5 and I know that I have 2.5s and what I need to do is I need to see how many of those I can fit in here. So we've got a few different options on how we can solve this problem. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a division problem but as you notice it's going to be a little bit strange. Look at this 2.5 into 22.5 now we're okay with having a decimal in the dividend, but what happens right here when we've got this decimal in the divisor? Does it make any difference? Well, let's look at a little trick real quick. So if we were to take two and we were to divide it into 10, you know, two divided by 10, pretty easy. That's, just, that's a basic fact, it goes in five times. But watch what happens if we take the decimal. So there's a decimal after the ones place in each of these, and we extend it over one. And we add a zero there. So now we just we basically just move the decimal over once and added a zero for the blank. And 20 goes into 100 how many times? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Five times. So guess what? I added a zero by moving the decimal to the right to both my dividend and my divisor. And guess what happened to my quotient? absolutely nothing. If I did it again, if I moved it over again and added another zero, 200 into 1,000. Now it only works if you do the decimal um, same direction, same number of times for both the dividend and the divisor. Guess what? 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000. It doesn't change. So we're going to use that knowledge that we can move the decimal out of the divisor. We don't want this in here, so we're going to move this over once. So my 2.5 now becomes 25. But if I move it over once to the right in the divisor, I have to do the same thing in the dividend. So now my decimal is right there. So I'm going to put my decimal right up there. So instead of 22.5 divided by 2.5, it's now 225 divided by 25. So how many 25s does it take? To get into 225, well, let's see, 8, and let's see what that is. We're just going to kind of guess here. That's going to be 40. That's going to be 16, 20. That's going to be a little bit too small. You know what? I bet you 9 is going to work perfectly. Let's see, 25 times 9. That's going to be 45. That's 18 at the 4 is 22. There we go. So we've got our answer. So we're going to divide into it 9 times. Now it's not 0.9, it's just 9, and that's going to be 225. And we're going to have no remainder. So in 6th grade, we really don't do remainders. If we did, we'd have to add a 0 and keep moving on. So it looks like our answer is 9. But if you look over here on F, G, H, and J, we kind of see 9, but we don't. So take a look at this right here. It's 9, but it's 9.0. Well, as long as that's a zero after the decimal, that's the exact same. Nine and 9.0 are the exact same, so it looks a little bit strange, but we are going to go ahead and circle that. J is our answer.